Have you ever wondered how a gemstone once thought to be the crown jewel of kings turned out not to be what everyone believed? For centuries, dazzling red stones sat in royal crowns and treasures, hailed as priceless rubies. But here's the twist. Many of them weren't rubies at all. They were spanel, a different gemstone that fooled monarchs, jewelers, and empires for hundreds of years. Today, we're uncovering the shocking history behind this royal mix-up, how it went unnoticed for centuries, right here on History of Simple Things. Red has always been the color of royalty. In ancient times, the rarest and most prized gemstone was the ruby. Its rich crimson hue symbolized blood, life, and divine authority. From India to Europe, rubies were considered so powerful they were believed to protect warriors in battle and bring prosperity to kingdoms. But here's the twist. Deep red stones can look nearly identical, and before modern science, jewelers couldn't tell them apart. For centuries, spinel, often found alongside rubies, was mistaken for its more famous cousin. Both are stunning, but chemically and structurally, they're completely different. The most famous case of this mix-up? The Black Prince's Ruby, one of the crown jewels of England. If you've ever seen the Imperial State Crown, the one worn by Queen Elizabeth II at her coronation, you've seen it too. Sitting proudly above the Cullinan II diamond is a massive red stone weighing 170 carats. For centuries, it was believed to be a ruby. Its history is legendary. The stone first appeared in the 14th century, owned by Abu Sa'id, the last Muslim ruler of Granada in Spain. During a conflict with King Pedro of Castile, Abu Sa'id was ambushed and killed, his prized red gem seized by Pedro. Later, Pedro gifted it to Edward, the Black Prince of England, and it became known as the Black Prince's Ruby. Over the next 500 years, the stone witnessed some of Britain's most turbulent history. It was worn on Henry V's helmet at the Battle of Agincourt in 1415 and even survived an attempt by thieves to steal the crown jewels in 1671. But here's the kicker. It's not a ruby at all. In the 18th century, gemologists finally discovered it was spinel, a completely different gemstone. Imagine the shock of realizing that one of the crown's most celebrated rubies was, technically, a royal mistake. You might wonder, how did this mix-up last for centuries? The answer is simple. Early gem identification relied mostly on color and appearance. Without advanced tools, jewelers assumed that any deep red stone was a ruby. Spinel and ruby often form in the same geological conditions, so they were mined together, adding to the confusion. Chemically, ruby is a variety of corundum, made of aluminum oxide with traces of chromium, giving it that red color. Spinel, on the other hand, is magnesium aluminum oxide. But visually, they can be nearly identical, especially the finest spinels, which can rival even the most expensive rubies in brilliance and saturation. For centuries, spinel lived in ruby shadow. Even though some of the most famous rubies in royal collections, like the Black Prince's ruby and the Timur ruby, are actually spinels. The Timur ruby, engraved with the names of Mughal emperors, was once among the most prized jewels of India. When the British acquired it in the 19th century, they celebrated it as a ruby, only to later learn the truth. 
Fast forward to modern times, and Spinel is finally getting the recognition it deserves. In the 20th century, advancements in gemology allowed experts to differentiate between ruby and spinel using spectroscopy and other tests. Today, spinel is celebrated for its vivid reds, pinks, and even cobalt blues, some as rare and valuable as top quality rubies. No longer in ruby shadow, it's now a collector's favorite. And beyond the science, this story feels profoundly human. Even kings and queens with all their wealth and power were fooled by the jewels in their own crowns. Across Asia and Europe, countless rubies in historic collections have turned out to be spinels. In the Kremlin Armory in Russia, several famous red stones, once thought to be rubies, are actually spinels. The same goes for treasures in the Mughal Empire and even in the Persian crown jewels. The mix-up was global. So what can we take away from this royal blunder? For one, it's a humbling reminder that appearances can be deceiving, even when it comes to treasures worth millions. It also highlights how human knowledge evolves. What was once considered fact, this is a ruby, can be overturned by new discoveries. Today, Spinel has stepped out of Ruby's shadow. In 2016, it was even added as an official birthstone for August, sharing the spotlight with Peridot. Modern jewelers and collectors admire it for what it truly is, a gemstone with unmatched brilliance, rich history, and a color range that rivals even the finest rubies. So the next time you see a glittering red gem, remember, history might not always be what it seems. And sometimes, the real treasure lies in the story behind the stone, proof that even beauty can be misunderstood for centuries. What we admire today may once have been mistaken, overlooked, or entirely forgotten. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.